Hi sisters, James Charles here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys all know, I just moved to downtown Los Angeles and I'm officially moved in. Room tour, definitely coming soon. But if you're from the LA area, you know that there's an iconic place just a few blocks down called Santee Alley. It's basically like the hidden gem marketplace of Los Angeles. It has fabrics, clothes, makeup, and all types of glam and project DIY crafty type stuff, but for super, super low prices. Before going to Coachella last weekend, I went over to Santee Alley with a few friends to look for like clothing items and jewelry, but when I was there, I noticed that they had a ton of knockoff makeup products. I was seeing products from all my favorite brands like Morphe, Benefit, Tarte, Kat Von D, Kylie, but once I got a closer look, I realized that they were all fake products. So for today's video, I headed back over to Santee Alley to pick up knockoffs for all my favorite products, and I'm going to be doing a full face of all fake makeup. I have a ton of stuff in front of me, so without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> so I'm first gonna start off, as always, by priming my face using my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I picked this up for a whopping $3. This is it in comparison to my Real Pore Professional. This one is definitely a little bit bigger, and it looks a little bit bluer as well, but that might be because this one is extremely dirty. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna use this as a primer. Whoa. That does not look like my Professional. Oh my god, this looks like foundation. Oh, oh my. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC40. Now, if you are a makeup lover, you will know that I am nowhere near an NC40, but this is what came out of the NC40 when I opened the box earlier today. This is not NC40, but this is the closest shade that I could find to my skin tone. So I guess we're gonna try this out. To apply the makeup today, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes. It's very funny for one, because these do not actually exist. So they are literally a dupe of a non-existent product. And two, the brushes are upside down inside the packaging. Great quality content right here. This literally will not come out. <laughs> My parents to me when I was 12. Oh, actually it's not that bad of a shade match. NC40 my ass. This brush is like really not doing it's job. This looks horrendous. Okay, this is just really not doing the job to get it on right, so I'm gonna switch over to my Knock Off Beauty Blender. This is what I got today for a whopping $3, and this is in comparison to my regular Beauty Blender. This one obviously is a lot more pink because this has foundation and stuff on it, but they're pretty much like the same size. This one's a whole lot fatter, and it's also a lot more dense, so I'm gonna use this to try to put this on. Oh, this is actually kind of good. I know my MAC foundations pretty well, and this one says it is the Studio Fix Fluid. This is definitely not very similar to the Studio Fix Fluid. The regular one from MAC is very, very, very high coverage, and it's super, super beautiful when I got the skin. This, I cannot say the same for. <laughs> you can definitely still see like my redness popping through, especially over in this area on my nose where my glasses sit. This weird pimple situation I got going on up in here. My 5 o'clock shadow, that I didn't shave yet today. Definitely not the regular MAC Studio Fix full coverage, but honestly, it's not like awful. It's pretty bad, could be worse. For concealer today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in the shade Fair. This is the only shade of this concealer I can find, so it's definitely gonna be a little bit light, but this foundation is definitely not my shade either, so hopefully we can even things out a little bit. Oh, wow, hello. Okay. Also, this foundation definitely like matched a few minutes ago and now it already is oxidizing and turning orange. So this is gonna get even less my shade by the end of this video. Great. For powder today, I'm using the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. This was $15, which is definitely a little pricey for a fake setting powder, but oh well. I'm also being really careful to not get this in my eyes because I have no idea what is in this and I am trying not to go even more blind than I already am today. First thing I notice off the bat is this powder is really, really, really chunky and splotchy. It definitely does not go on very smooth. And I have tried the regular Bed Nye Banana Powder for when I've done drag looks and it's really, really good. This is definitely not it. <laughs> to further highlight under my eyes, I'm gonna be using the MAC Studio Fix Foundation Plus Powder. In this, I am in the shade NC30. Once again, definitely not my shade. And this is what the powder looks like. Oh, I forgot that. I bought this powder for $10, and in comparison, here is my regular MAC Studio Fix Foundation, and this is in the shade N3. So 
So keep in mind, this is really not that much lighter, and this is N3, and this is NC30. Something really doesn't add up there, and I'll tell you, it's 27. <coughs> oh, wow. <coughs> it smells like baby powder, like, but like bad baby powder. So this has absolutely no coverage at all. I use my real one to usually highlight and set underneath my eyes and in my forehead to really brighten up my face and it has a ton of coverage. It always is like the finalizing step in covering up my under eye bag and this, I will tell you, has done nothing because it still looks like a sister needs to get another 15 hours of sleep before I'm gonna look okay. <laughs> to bronze and contour my face today, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. You guys know that this is my holy grail contouring palette. I have my real one right up in here, so we're gonna be using the fake knockoff one today. My favorite part about this is that on the back of the packaging, they show you the shades. I don't know if the lighting is picking it up, but literally this is like Shrek highlighting contouring colors. These are all green. So <laughs> I'm horrified to see what's gonna happen when we open the box. So this is what we got going on here. Whoa! What the fu- oh! Okay, um, this is a little bit broken and I am currently a lot of bit dirty, so that's great. Here's the comparison between the fake and the real one. Honestly, they look pretty similar. The only difference is that these colors are a lot more warm toned and these on the bottom row are a lot more cool toned. I'm sure the quality of this is gonna be a whole lot better and I was gonna say, don't judge, but considering I just opened this and it was already shattered, I don't really think this sister has a lot going for her right now. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this pointed blending brush and use the middle shade of the palette and start to contour my face, I guess. Okay, honestly, this is not that bad. Oh, it pains me to say that. Notice it definitely does not blend out as easily as the normal shade of light palette does. This is definitely a lot more patchy and it takes a little bit more to blend, but it could be a lot worse. This is not going too well so far. Once my contours are all in place, I guess, I'm gonna use a little bit more of that Ben Nye Luxury Powder and I'm going to bake my face. This is extremely pigmented, whoa. While I'm baking, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start on my brows, and today I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. It has been a long time since I've used the real Anastasia Dip Brow in general. You guys know that I have made the official switch over to brow pencils, but this should be interesting. I'm gonna grab this tiny liner brush from the Anastasia Brush Collection, and I'm gonna dip into Ash Brown, which is definitely not my shade, but it was literally the only shade there that looked like it would remotely match me in any way, shape, or form. And I'm gonna try to Slay these brows. Okay, I already hate this brush. Okay. The texture of this is really, really like wet and moist. I hate that word so much, but like this is slipping around very, very easily. And I remember when I used to use dip brow, it was like really hard to kind of like mold it and get it into place. But I like that because it was a lot harder to make mistakes. Clearly with this, it's a whole lot easier. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that Maybelline Master Conceal in a flat top brush and I'm going to try to Clean up the brow a little bit. <laughs> okay, honestly cleaned up, like this does not look that bad. I feel like this is gonna be a trend throughout this video, me saying, oh, this is not that bad, which worries me a little bit. For the eyes today, I'm gonna be using one of my all-time favorite palettes, the Morphe 35O palette. But of course, this is not the real one. We got the fake one at Santee for $16, and this is the real one that retails for $22, and honestly, they look almost exactly identical, but we're gonna put this one to the test and see how they actually swatch and apply. First, I'm gonna start off with this medium warm brown shade right here and use it as a transition in my eyelids. Oh, no. Whoa, okay, hi, pigmentation. Um, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm next gonna grab an M433 and I'm gonna dip into this dark brown shade down here and I'm gonna darken out the outer crease. Okay, for some reason this eye is like blending out okay and this eye is just like patchy patch central up in here. It looks awful. But this eye like doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna grab a clean blending brush and I'm going to go over the edges just to try to blend this out a little bit more since that first shadow was a whole lot more pigmented than I was anticipating. For the lid, I'm gonna grab this shade right up in here with a flat top concealer brush, and I'm gonna apply that right on the inner corner. To start off with, honestly, the mattes were very, very much impressing me. Shimmer shade definitely is no comparison to the real ones from Morphe. These are like ridiculously, ridiculously dry, and I did wet my brush a little bit too. I don't know how that actually worked, but they really do not look good. 
This isn't awful, it's just taking me way too long to be able to layer up a half cut crease and it really should. Okay, and that is the shadow all done. This eye honestly looks pretty good. This eye, on the other hand, definitely needs a whole lot more work. It just is really not blending out. This palette was $16. It is not awful. The mattes are decent. The shimmers definitely are not Morphe quality. Honestly, you'd be way better off just spending the extra $8 and getting the Morphe palette for $22. And of course, you can use code JAMES, as you all know, for 10% off your purchase. This palette is okay, but I would definitely say spend the extra money and get the real version. For lashes today, I picked up the J Lashes in the style 902 Black. They are the most similar lashes I could find to, of course, my favorite Z House Lashes Iconics. So I'm just going to pop these on today, and these were $2. The lash band is like super, super warped and is like going in all sorts of different directions up in here. So whether or not I'm gonna be able to glue this on should be interesting. Okay, honestly, these are kind of pretty. I feel like if you stack like three of them together, they'd literally be like a pair of Iconics. I have my water line, I'm using the LA Girl Black Liner. I did buy this at Santa Alley. This is not really a knockoff. I was way too scared and it's way too dangerous to use like a fake product in your eye. Not gonna mess around with that today. <laughs> Then for mascara, I'm just gonna use my Holy Grail, the Benefit Roller Lash. Once again, not trying to mess around with that area. That is both eyes all complete. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the highlighter now. For today's glow, I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam. I did used to have the real version of this, but it was broken on an airline, and that is why, folks, you never ever check your makeup. This is what the palette looks like. At first glance, there is already a nail mark in Starburst, which is really strange considering I'm just opening it now. Highlighters look like okay, they don't look bad in any way, shape, or form, but I definitely remember in the original palette, the Hard Candy and the Crushed Pearl shades were a lot more pink. So I guess we're just gonna put these on and we're gonna see how they look. It's not awful. Definitely is not like Anastasia normal pigmentation up in here because you guys know that those glow kits are like, whew, blinding it to the gods, but this, I wanna hate it, but I can't. It smells like, oh my God, it smells like a sneaker store. That's what it smells like. I feel like I'm like walking through the aisles of Adidas right now. Oh my God, I'm like scared to know like what's in this now. <sighs> Now that the highlight is done, similar to the eyes, this palette is not that bad, but it's definitely not the same pigmentation as quality as the original brand. I would definitely recommend splurging on the glow kit, but I guess it's doing the job for today. <laughs> Last but certainly not least for this video, of course we had to do lips and what other brand has more fakes than Kylie Cosmetics. Ever since Kylie has begun, there have been so many scandals with people getting fake liquid lipsticks and ordering stuff from like AliExpress and all those style of websites. So of course I had to pick up a fake Kylie lip kit and today we picked up the shade Exposed. This liquid lipstick was $3, so it definitely beats the price of Kylie's 18, but let's do a little bit of a test and see how it compares. Oh my god, that's very, very pungent. Okay, it literally smells like paint. This is, do I wanna put this on my lips? Putting it on, I can like taste the smell of paint. The color is actually kind of pretty, to be honest. So about this liquid lipstick, I do really, really like the color. I don't have the Kylie actual lipstick in the shade exposed to compare it to, but in general, this color is actually really pretty. Formula-wise, it has been about two or three minutes since I've actually applied this liquid lipstick and it is still not fully dry down, which is definitely not a great thing. I like Kylie's lipstick formula because it does dry down pretty fast and it is comfortable to wear. This is getting dry, but it is like a little bit sticky, which is never fun because now we get like these crusty bits up in here and that is never good for a liquid lipstick wearer. For $3 though, I don't hate it. All right guys, and this is the completed look that I created using all knockoff makeup products. Looking in the mirror, I honestly do not look as awful as I was expecting myself to. It is definitely not the classic James Charles style glam, but it could be a whole lot worse. Some of these products were pretty comparable to the originals, but overall, I definitely would not be adding any of these to my everyday makeup routine. I did spend almost $150 on all these products combined, which is definitely not that cheap considering all this stuff is fake and not the real thing. I definitely would recommend spending a few bucks extra to get the real product and just get the full quality and making sure that you're getting the right thing. I was honestly super worried to do this video and I did get pretty lucky. My skin has not reacted poorly. I have not gotten any breakouts yet, but I will definitely keep you guys posted on my Twitter and Snapchat over the next few days. Hopefully this doesn't destroy my skin. Oftentimes fake makeup can contain a lot of chemicals and ingredients that can really mess up your skin and your immune system. So I'm hoping that this doesn't go real south real fast as soon as I wipe this off. 
That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put all this awful stuff on my face today. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They are both just James Charles. And my Snapchat and you there for more behind the scenes type stuff are James Charles, the next to ask after Charles. All right, sisters, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.